All right, so in the last video, Kevin was going through the whole roll cage, the whole setup, showing y'all the different angles that he used to build the whole entirety of the roll cage for my Ford Outlaw that I'm racing this year. Since then, we've also put the seat, the steering column, and the steering wheel all back into the car. Steering column is set up, good to go. Steering wheel is in place, seat is in place. I do have the gauge cluster sitting right here behind the steering column supports, but it's not really in place at the moment. That's kind of just like a mock setup that we're thinking about doing. For now, we're actually gonna be working on the doors like I said in the last video. So that's actually what Kevin is bringing in the torch for. Just got it in. Go ahead and start working on these doors, getting them prepped to be put back on the car. Basically trying to make the car whole again once more, so. That's, that's what we're gonna end up doing for these doors and that's why he's got the torch out at the moment. One of my favorite tools, doing one of my least favorite things. I was about to say your favorite tool doing your favorite thing of least, all time. Second least favorite. favorite. Most favorite. You really wanna mess with the guy who's got fire? Most favorite. Fire, wow, dude. No, I just gotta fire that torch back up and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna widen it up around here so I can see what I'm doing. Quit shaking. I will hit you with this pry bar if you don't quit shaking. That's why you don't work with children. So that was Sunday. We ended up getting two doors done. Today is Tuesday, so I'm back. We're gonna be working on the other two doors, which are the driver's side doors as well. I got my Hans device, like I told y'all. I'm gonna end up putting that on my helmet at some time. So y'all are gonna be able to see exactly why people use this and why it's so good to have while you're racing in, in terms of safety. Also I have my racing shoes here as well. I need to get back into the car and see if I'm gonna be able to push both the gas and the brake all the way down exactly like I was able to do it whenever I had my boots on, whenever we mounted the seat. So that shouldn't be a problem though, cause I did get into the seat without anything on my feet. So just barefoot went in there and everything worked out pretty much fine. So should have no problem with that, but I am gonna have to just go ahead and check just to make sure. So all four doors are officially done besides having to literally scrape off these two little guys right here. And that literally takes me probably two minutes tops. So it's it, they're, they're basically done. One, two, three, four, driver's side, passenger side. Kevin's favorite part of gunning a race car officially done. Actually, with your sarcasm. Least favorite part is pulling out windshield. This is officially not that bad anymore because of torch. I used to do it with a cutoff wheel and a sawzall and it was A, more time consuming, B, more dangerous, and, and just no, like I didn't like doing it. So, Torch is my friend. So basically, the reason this guy's sitting there beating on this door is that there's this, this lip, this lip that's up here on this edge of the door. So what we do is we beat it down flat, makes it easier to lay the doors together and then weld them together and eventually weld it back on the car. Okay, so I come in from using the bathroom, right? I go out back, I'm using the bathroom. I'm like, why is there a light on in the car? And then I look and look at this, look at this clown. Dakota, what are you doing? I'm getting fitted, bro. What? Well, okay. I'm assuming you've got your, your shoes on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, racing shoes on. Everything good down there, pedal-wise? Dude, everything feels absolutely perfect. The seat placement, 
where the steering wheel is, the steering column being I mean, that far to me. A lot of people will say, Amazing. a lot of people will probably say you look kind of close to the wheel, but uh, you're comfortable. That's that's what matters. Go ahead and lean your head back for me. Absolutely. I have full range, full range of motion with both my arms. I have still a gap between my stomach and the bottom of the wheel which there's going to be a seat belt down there so absolutely so guys this is perfect i've never had a race car set up for me i've raced two different race cars already one pure stock and one of these ford outlaws so they were already set up for other people that were already racing them so this being the first time i'm actually able to sit in my own race car really comfortably it's it's just another feeling Another feeling of being just more comfortable with the whole car. Yeah, when you're not comfortable, it, it's 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 definitely harder to keep control. I remember that from the first car I ever drove. Right. Like the first time I rented that car before I actually bought it. You sitting in the car right now with your helmet on, dude, there's like, like. There's a gap, isn't there? It's like nine inches between the top of your head and the bottom of the roll bar. Right. That's pretty good, dude. You've got all kinds of room. Oh yeah. Steering columns lowered, that's, you know, nice. But yeah, so this is exactly how I'm going to be racing the car, this level with the steering column and everything. So this is exactly how I'm going to be strapped in. Looks good, man. Hell yeah, I'm feels good. I'm glad you're comfortable. I want to check one more thing. Yep. Oh yeah, dude, you are, you are behind that. that brain bar. Hell yeah. That brain bar is literally at the front of your head. Nice. 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 Veltman race cars. Vel can. Veltman race cars. That that's. That's me. So obviously there's going to be a door skin, a door skin right here. That doesn't really make much of a difference. My door skin is going to come exactly to the top of this roll bar. So you just saw how easy it was for me to get in and out of the car. So can't complain. Remember the car's still jacked up right now. So it's higher up than it's going to be too. Right. Which makes it easier. But uh, dude, I'm glad you're comfortable. Absolutely. Absolutely, dude. I'm so happy. Hey, you, you can take off that helmet now. Yeah, I'm getting there. All right, so obviously it's a new day, but we are over here back again. <sighs> Look at this guy over here. Hey, you're here. What What's up? up? Welcome time. What's up, pal? Hey, we're putting the core support back on today. That and, we are. And then the fenders, too. Nice. Dude, there's leaves in here. Dude, that's extra weight. We don't want that. I need you to like guide that in, into place. No, 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 the, 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 the box, the air box. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. Boom. Core support. <laughs> so, if you can't see what is underneath my helmet right now. That's a Hans device, and that is a full fully hooked up Hans device. Look at this. Window net. Now, it's not fully, fully done. I still have to tack weld the front and back to really keep it from like sliding, because right now it can do that, and that's not good. But uh, that's simple. I gotta wait for this guy to actually get the car fully painted and then we'll grind little spots and then retack. Well, you yeah, know, that's simple later on. So, core support is painted, as you can see. Fenders are back on. Well, working on putting fenders back on. A couple little bolts that hold it together in the top. Literally not much at all. And then there's these big guys. Those are the those are the main ones that really hold it down. That provide the uh, gorilla force.
You know I have an air-powered ratchet? <laughs> I am muscle. I am muscle. I am the knight. Okay, uh, Batman. I'm Batman. No. You got a Weezer mobile, dude. A Weezer mobile? <laughs> Look at this not so good pay job. Look at all that weight. Well, well, to be honest with you, if my fabricator didn't leave his helmet at work today, there'd be expanded metal being put on this tonight and I would have to repaint it anyway, so, you know. time to get these doors back on the car make it once again whole and honestly it's looking pretty good what I'm doing right now is cleaning up these edges right here where Kevin had to cut with the torch to get the go uh, the doors gutted just clean that up so he's able to get a nice clean weld on the doors while they're being placed back on the car before after Clean metal makes it easier for good welds. Right, right, right. All right, so we ended up getting the doors back on the car, both driver and passenger side doors. So the car is once again whole and it's looking pretty, pretty good. So, so that's what it looks like with the doors back on the car. Passenger side and now driver side. It looks like a whole car again. It does. It does look like a whole car again. Oh, 
We've uh, we also started on something that we kind of didn't wind up capturing on video, unfortunately. We made the support for the front end. It's not on or anything. It's just kind of just, just hanging there. Yeah, yeah, I got to weld it on, waiting for the rain to pass. Yeah. Yeah, we got uh, blessed with beautiful Florida weather yep. today. That's gonna wrap up this video. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. We actually we actually have something that we're working on over there. I'm really not gonna give you too much of a uh, glimpse of it, but you'll just have to see what it is for the next video, man. If you do enjoy any of these videos, please leave a like and subscribe and share it if you feel like doing that as well. I mean, that's that's how you support people on YouTube.